Good morning everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I plan on doing another FaceTime vlog. Reason why is because I enjoy making them and you guys, oops, and you guys enjoy watching them. So it's like a win-win situation. I'm just getting these plugins into these or the refills into these plugins. I had two more left. I had to order these on Amazon because they were super cheap. The vanilla passion fruit glade plugins. I had two more, which is perfect because I usually put two plugins in the hallway. And the ones that I bought on my recent video are gonna go in my room. I need to go ahead and replace those today as well. I wish I could say remind me, but I can just write it down. I always write things down. I'm terrible at reading cursive, but I believe it says Sony. Somebody sent me this notebook, they sent me two of them, and you don't even know how much you guys' notebooks that you guys send to me get used. Like, I love notebooks, I'm obsessed, I go through notebooks so fast because I write so much. I'm not the type that likes to, like, type things into my phone, I love to write things down. So today, okay, I'm hopping from topic to topic. Today, like, I have things written down on my notebook of, like, what kind of self-care I want to do this morning because my hair is really tangled. I want to do, like, a face mask, pre-poo, all of that good stuff. But sometimes I forget, like, everything that I wanted to do self-care-wise. So today I have, like, things written down for my self-care. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and write down that I need to go ahead and do plug-in refills in my room because my plug-ins are really low and I'm not smelling them no more. But let me go put these in my hallway real fast. I'll be back. Good smells are so motivating to me. I don't know, just like smelling good smells like motivates me so much and it puts me in like such a good mood. Like, okay, my mom gave me this spray yesterday. Thank you, mom. I went downstairs, she ordered a bunch of these concentrated room sprays and I have a couple left, but she had like a million so I just went through them and I seen this one and I was like, oh my gosh, mom, can I have it? And this smells so motivating it's weird but like it smells motivating it is vanilla and musk and i sprayed this in this bathroom before i started filming because it just made me so much happier yo i feel so good this morning you guys i got a full night's rest i'm so happy and like that sounds like normal but like for me i really do have sleeping issues sometimes and i have been lately like not being able to sleep too well and so last night i slept throughout the entire night i am I'm so excited about it, you guys. It just feels so amazing. I am thanking Jesus so much because it feels so amazing to have a full night's of rest. I always say this, but I, I just, it's always the case. Jesus is always in the working business. Um, so I've been praying so much for the older people out here and just the people with kids out here that, you know, may not have enough money to put their family in a hotel because a lot of people in Michigan don't have power right now. There was a storm that came the other day. It was really ugly. It was ugly, you guys. Um, and it knocked out the power for a lot of people. Ours was out for about a day and a half. And it was really hot in here. Um, but it came on last night right when we were getting ready to go to a hotel so thank you jesus and i'm just so grateful because today's gonna be one of the hottest days in michigan um it may not be super hot for others but what is today gonna be i heard it was gonna be like up to 95 or something like that that's really a lot for michiganders because y'all we don't have heat like that okay no it's a high of 90 i'm not sure where i heard 95 from but it's gonna be a high of 90 today so I've just been praying and praying and praying for the older people out here and for people that may not have the money to put themselves in a hotel. So I need to go ahead and unpack those bags today. I don't want to drop the pin on my foot. So I need to go ahead and unpack those bags today as well, but I'm just so grateful that our power came back up. Okay, I got a pen going in my nose. Um, so I'm just so grateful to Jesus because I'm just, oh my gosh, you don't know, like, you don't know what you have until it's gone. Like, oh my gosh, not having lights, not having AC, not having a dang garbage disposal. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful, you guys. I had to go to the YMCA and upload my video because literally when the power went out, I had been uploading my video. The internet's not too good. I'm not sure what's going on, but the, obviously the, the video that I uploaded recently was like two hours and like 19 minutes or something like that. Something like that. And so the video took me, it was going to take me a little bit over two hours to go ahead and upload. I had been sitting there uploading that video for so long right when it got down to 20 minutes left the power went out so all of my uploading just went down the drain but then i went to the ymca and the ymca had the video up in a half an hour i couldn't believe it so that might be my new uploading spot we'll see i had to go ahead and get a vpn because their internet's not secured and i wouldn't really know much about that stuff if it wasn't for jordan but i felt bad though because i got this vpn on my computer and i was like rushing rushing and going through it 
and they didn't say that they were going to do like a like a upfront charge of a hundred dollars and i put jordan's card information on there because he told me like i'll pay for it and they took a hundred dollars off his card so he was talking to people like hey what's going on with this hundred dollar charge like it wasn't supposed to do that the charge was supposed to be like six bucks or something i don't know so i felt bad about that grateful it wasn't me but like that sounds really selfish but i'm just saying just because he's super calm and he's able to like handle things like super chill like anyway so that was the deal i'm so grateful that our power is back on i thank jesus because driving around a lot of people's power is still not on like even up the street from us everybody's windows are open there's no lights in their house and i'm like oh my gosh like thank you jesus like the prayer really does work because our power is back on thank you lord jesus and lord please continue to have this power on and do not let it go out amen so i'm grateful for my full nights of rest i'm grateful for my electricity I got lots to be grateful for, okay? But like I was saying, um, I was writing down what I want to do this morning for self-care because I really want to do some self-care this morning. For some reason, my hair seems to be pretty tangled. I'm not really sure. It, my hair doesn't really get tangled like that. And it seems to be pretty tangled. So when I get done drinking my energy drink, look how cute this cup is, you guys. I got it from Starbucks. For some reason this morning, I did not want to taste coffee. So I'm drinking a rain. And rains have 300 milligrams of caffeine, so this definitely should make up for my coffee, you guys. Like, rains are out of this world. Out of this world. Like, if you need, like, intense energy, get you a rain. And I'm not talking about, like, the new rain, like, the new little rains. I'm talking about the OG rains. And it's called R-E-I-G-N. I put so many people onto them because they're, like, that energy. Now, they're not for everybody because y'all may be bouncing off the walls. When I first started to drink rains... I was bouncing off of the walls but it gave me so much more energy and like motivation to get work done so it's it's very helpful if you are like in college and you need to be staying up doing stuff like for my mama's out there that got their babies oh man i just give so much props to my college students to my mamas my single mamas i'm just i'm proud of y'all i'm proud of you and i want you to know that i'm proud of you and that jesus sees everything you're doing okay so I want to have a self-care morning, so that's the case. I'm trying to drink all this energy drink before I brush my teeth, though, because I don't want to, like, brush my teeth and then drink the energy drink because I don't know how good, like, energy drinks are for your teeth. So, girl, we're going to do some um, self-care. I have an idea. I went to the store the other day, and I got period kit materials for back-to-school period kit, so I'm not going to make, like, a whole video on a back-to-school period kit, but I am going to go ahead and sit down in today's video and share with you guys the best period kit I would think would be the best to take to school. This would be the period kit if I had to go back to high school right now, go back to middle school. This would be the period kit that I would make for myself. Or if I had like a teenage daughter, like this would be the period kit I would send with her to school. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a period kit today. So that's not only for back to school, but also for anybody that, you know, has to physically go to work and stuff like that. Because girl, my period kits have came in clutch so many times. I just leave them in my car. And if I were in school, I would leave it in my locker. But now I just leave them in my car. Um, and then whatever else happens, happens. But I do know that I have to, have to get to Walmart today because I have to make more laundry powder. So I make like a DIY laundry powder. When I used to be on TikTok, there was like, I actually got like, okay, I'm not going to like talk so much bad about TikTok. Like I know people are like, girl, you're just so negative. But no, there were some good things I got out of TikTok. And one of those things was laundry powder. There was like families on there sharing with like their audience how they make their laundry powder and it is so much more affordable if you make your own laundry powder when i tell you guys i have had the same bucket of laundry powder for like the past five months it's not even a joke i actually went and looked you guys because i remember that i recorded it you guys it's almost been nine months nine months since i've made this laundry powder that's how long it lasted me so now that it's me and my family it's gonna go by a little bit faster but my family really enjoys this laundry powder and it's so much cheaper you guys i haven't bought laundry detergent laundry detergent in so long the only laundry detergent i need to brush my teeth you know when your tongue is coated like your words start fumbling the only laundry detergent i still have to buy is like the free and clear kind because i use that for my pillowcases and my underwear no i do not use scented anything on my pillowcases and no i do not use anything scented on my underwear used to be able to but nowadays that stuff will irritate me i feel like the older i'm getting the more sensitive i'm getting downstairs and it's like i really have to be careful with what i use downstairs because like the older i get and I, i'm not even oh i'm just saying like, but the older i get the more sensitive i am downstairs and i can't just use anything so yeah girl what i'm a very organized person and sometimes i um am i the only one that has a macbook and like the cap locks the caps lock button it tweaks sometimes that's with each macbook i've ever had it's weird 
but um sometimes i like write down ideas or topics that i want to talk about on my channel because sometimes like when i get so excited and i'm on camera like a lot of things just pass by me oh yeah so another thing baby gates i gotta get baby gates for the dogs today at walmart because i like them to have more freedom now just keep them on one level you know i don't want them in the cage all the time they're never in the cage anymore you know when i first had my dogs like i i never had a dog in my life and like growing up like the people that i seen with dogs their dogs were usually in the cage and their dogs didn't really have much freedom they didn't really go to the vet that's one thing i definitely do not play about though my dogs are at the vet they always have their medication like flea and tick and heartworm medication um but i did have my dogs in the cage um, a lot more than they should have been so i have learned that my dogs they do so much better they act so much better and they have so much less anxiety when they're not in the cage even at nighttime i do not like them being in the cage so i let essence and locket run free at nighttime the only annoying thing is that they like to play all night and my brother is right underneath them so he does hear them but he says i'm glad that they have freedom so we're all good with it i just need to get two baby gates one for my stairs and one for the stairs that go down to the door uh like the entrance of our home because that's where they can like go down to my mom's level or brand's level and essence still has potty accidents so i don't want that happening but they're okay to be on one level um i just don't like them caged only when they're eating because my thing my dogs they do not eat if their cage is open they run out they want to play they want to keep being sisters they're just a lot so if i cage them while they're eating they will finish their food um so yeah I gotta get baby gates because you know like i said i have learned to be a better dog owner as i've had dogs i've learned what works best for my dogs essence had one of the best nights she's ever had last night i've been letting them free at night time for the past week usually essence is in the cage at night time and i usually let locket in my room because locket you know but as of lately i've been like mm, i just want essence to be out so i've been letting her out well last night no potty accident we got up there's nothing on the floors and she went outside and did everything she needed to do so girl we're about to go to the store get these baby gates and yeah and then i wrote down on here you know it would be a good gift like if you know a big family then a great gift would be to make this laundry powder for them and gift it to them and i think i should do that as like a housewarming gift for my brother and his his girlfriend i call her my sister-in-law because she's my sister-in-law they've been together for so long i don't give a crap it's my sister-in-law period i don't care she ain't gonna be married to him for her to be my sister-in-law she's my sister-in-law i'm that type i do family we're family Yo, i ain't no funny acting john ain't none of that so that would be a really dope housewarming gift to give to them we're coming up with ideas okay but anyways girl let's get started on hair first i was gonna get started on facial care but i think i'm just gonna go ahead and do hair first and then brush my teeth and then do facial care and then I'll hop in the shower and then and wash my hair and have some alone time. Yes, ma'am. I like to listen to a podcast in the shower. I don't know. I just love listening to podcasts in the shower. Anyway, so as far as like hair care today, since I told you guys my hair is like, I don't know what happened. It's like really matted. I don't know about this, y'all. I don't know what product I use that may have made it matte. I kind of feel like it's this. This way leave-in conditioner. I feel like after I use this is when my hair matted up because I didn't really brush it through good. I think it's the consistency of the product. I'm not sure, you guys. I just be throwing stuff out there. Um, but for hair care, I'm gonna go ahead and do a pre-poo. So I cannot be the only one that has seen commercials on this product and they sell it on Amazon. So this is the new African Pride Moisture Miracle. Let me open it up first because I can't even read it. I use my teeth for everything. I need to stop. Probably my teeth are crooked. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's for my dad. His genetics go crazy. His genetics are so strong. I don't even make no dang sense. What's the? It just took off the actual logo. Okay, but it is the, and it's taken off the film on the product. Okay, better than having a leaky product. It is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Detangle and Condition Pre-Shampoo. This has been all over the commercials and they talk about getting it on Amazon, which was super cool because I love when I see commercials about something on Amazon, even though I've never seen a commercial like that about something on Amazon, but I loved it, you guys. It was so exciting. I was like, wait a minute. So you're telling me I can get that on Amazon? It's the real stuff? Yeah. So it is to help minimize breakage. And a lot of people said they had less, um, less shedding when they used this product. So I'm going to go ahead and use this and do a pre-poo on my hair. I'm going to put it up and I'm going to let it sit in my hair. How do you use it? Before cleansing, apply a generous amount to dry dry hair and distribute evenly. Use fingers or comb to detangle. Rinse thoroughly. For especially dry or tangled hair, leave on for 15 to 30 minutes. Yes, okay, so I can do that. 
I don't have the, they said follow up with the shampoo. I don't have that. I'm just going to use my Aveda products. But let's see. It's like a gel. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like coconuts and mango. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to my hair. People say, oh my gosh, you guys. People say it's just the best pre-shampoo they have ever had when they take down their box braids or any hairstyle. They don't have as much shedding. This is so cool, you guys. There's so much slip. Oh my gosh. And y'all, this is what I really need right now because my hair is so tangled and I do not understand why. I remember it being pretty affordable too. But I know that my hair, I'm still going to have a lot of shedding because I haven't brushed it. I don't usually brush my hair like that, you guys, just because, you know, I have curly hair and it really makes it frizzy. Unless I'm brushing through like a lot of product, then I don't usually brush it. Um, so, hmm, let's see. I mean, it seems to be really detangling my hair. Hold on, y'all. This is this is really a moisture miracle. Seriously, hold on, you guys, because what's happening? And as y'all know, in my recent video, I told you guys, okay, this stuff is crazy, you guys. As I told you guys in my recent video, I got another inch cut off of my hair because I'm trying to get the rest of the damage off. I had damaged my hair so bad, and I am ready to never do it again. But I'm glad that I learned while I'm young because... I know not to ever do no stupid junk against my hair. Okay, there's like a really big gnat right here. It's like it's really tangled up right here. I'm going to try to run a comb through it and see what happens. Let me clip this up right here. I'll be right back. Okay. So this is going to sound weird. One day, I could not find the girls' um, their grooming combs. And I was getting them all detangled and bathed just one day. Well, my mom gave me this teasing brush, but it's like a Denman comb. It's the coolest thing. So she gave me this, and it really helps to detangle my hair. Since I couldn't find theirs, I used my comb on them. So here's the comb. It has Essence's hair in it. I still haven't used it ever since. When I tell you guys this is the best comb to detangle my dogs, it was the weirdest thing. Like, lock it. She gets natted pretty good. This comb went straight through her. It got all her tangles out like crazy so my mom gave me another one the other day so now they have their own i'll set it to the side and i have my own and this is super exciting because i found a comb that works super good with them all right so let's detangle i love this dang comb i'm not sure where she got it from though you guys i love this comb because it is the best thing to detangle my hair and also when I get done washing my hair and I like to put the product in what it does is it um, defines my curls better and it gets that product thoroughly through my hair huh it seems to be working and I do not even care about this point about like length over health I used to be length over health now I'm really about my hair being healthy so I've been cutting and cutting and cutting until all of it is gone. Like it seems like it's staying the same length, but realistically I'm cutting off all of the damage. Whew, girl, these gnats are so bad. I cannot believe this. I don't know, girl. I don't know what happened. I know I've been really busy like this past week, so, um, and I haven't washed it in a week, so I know that probably had a lot to do with it, but oh my gosh, girl, that is really bad. Like my hair is usually never tangled like that. Oh my gosh, dude. Ooh, girl, look at that though. It went straight, it's going straight through. Ooh, girl. I like that. I'm gonna start doing this pre-poo every single time. It's time to wash my hair, you know? I don't wanna speak too soon because sometimes I get a little lazy. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> I cannot wait till I get my hair to the length I want it to be without damaging it ever again because my hair also was breaking from how much oil I was doing, how much oil treatments I was doing. Oil treatments are good, but I was overdoing it. I don't know why I wanted my hair to grow onto my ankles in a matter of two days. But that was an issue because the oil broke my hair, y'all. So what happened was the, the big chop that I did, y'all remember when my hair was super long, right? It was like way down here. Well, the big chop that I did, I did it because I had been over oiling it and I damaged my hair while doing so. And I realized it one time I was filming and my mom was filming me from the back and the middle of my hair was broken off. Like I had all this hair, but there was like two pieces and all of this in the middle was just broken off. And I was like, oh my gosh, mom, what the heck? And she was like, girl, we can cut it and you can try again. Well, I cut it 
and I tried again but this time I used like a sun bum lightener and the reason why I did it I hate to even talk about it because I feel like an idiot the reason why I did it is because my hair naturally has been sun bleached my entire life I naturally have super light hair um, when I'm in the sun. I haven't been in the sun for years. I just haven't been going out in the sun too much. I know next summer I'm in the sun because I need my hair to be lightened. Okay. Hold on. I'm in this group chat. With my family. And when I look back at pictures when I was younger, y'all, my hair is so light. It's, it's blonde. You know, when I look at all the pictures when I was younger, it was blonde because I was in the sun all summer. My parents, my mom had us out every single day on the sun at the beach, every single thing. So it would last me throughout the winter and then it would get re-bleached, sun bleached in the summertime. Well, I was like, I really want that hair color back. And so I read about this sun bum, like peroxide lightener, but I overdid it. I'm not, I'm still not gonna do it again. I know it's safe for some people, but I overdid it and it really damaged my hair. Like it, it looked like it was just fried. Um, and I realized that I never wanted to do it again when I put heat on it. And I realized that it was just, it was so damaged. And the only reason why I knew it was damaged is because the parts that were my natural color growing from my roots, it was like mostly like back here. It was silk when I put heat on it. That's when I realized, and that's when I knew what damaged hair was and what I had done to my hair because my hair back here is literally like silk. I barely have to put any heat on it and it's like silk. So, never again. Now, I don't need to be lightening nothing. I don't need to be over oiling anything. I just need to be doing what I need to do, if that makes sense. But I know what I need to do now because I've made so many mistakes with my hair. Man, it is so natted. I cannot believe this. It like my hair feels like I've been out in chlorine and then I came home and slept on it without um brushing it out like that's the only time my hair has ever been natted is if i like went into chlorine and didn't brush it out immediately and detangle it because it dries my hair out so bad and it just oh it makes it look so terrible i cannot stand this y'all this is so annoying i know this product would work so much better if it didn't if my hair wasn't this tangled but it's really badly tangled man yeah they say use a generous amount but it, the bottom don't seem to be going down a lot because of the consistency, you can use a lot and it doesn't really like use a lot, if that makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense. Anyways, just let me talk, you guys. So yeah, you do have to be generous with this junk if your hair is tangled because it really does slip right through if you use a generous amount. This is so disgusting. And I just so happened to buy this product, y'all. Not knowing my hair was going to end up getting so natted and tangled. Alright you guys, so I got this side done. It feels super amazing. And this is about how much hair came out from that side. I really don't think that's bad because I haven't brushed it like I said in a week. So that was really all that came out. And listen, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, okay, well, that's why your hair is natted because you haven't brushed it in a week. Usually, even if I don't brush it in a week, I mean, I still do hairstyles throughout the week. So I had to like, I slick my hair back and stuff like that. Usually my hair is still never natted. Like my hair just doesn't tangle like that. Of course I have like a little tangles here and there, but it, it never like mats like that. So no, that is not the reason. I usually never have issues with my hair doing that. Like, I don't know what happened. That's why I'm saying, I, I think it's the whey product, but I'm probably just tripping. We'll see. And I know more will come out when I wash it. And I really get grossed out by hair, but I get even more grossed out when my shower's clogged. So I just put it on the shower. I just put it on the on the wall you guys and I started doing that because um our drain started to get clogged up from my hair and it was really starting to get annoying especially for the family too because when we were um living together we could we only had one shower if y'all remember when I first moved we only had one shower and so we don't like a clogged shower and so it was really getting annoying and then I remember somebody talking about like the decloggers we never do anything about that because we never really had any clogged drains I don't know why ain't that weird that I've been washing my hair my entire life and the Drains never really got clogged, but then at the new place, there was really no net down there though. And my hair would just go straight down and so it clogged it up really bad. And so we learned about the decloggers, but even then, I don't always want to have to like declog my shower. So I just put, oh, I just put all the hair on the shower wall. It does gross me out, um, you know, during the time that it's on there, but 
It's better than having to deal with a clogged shower. Okay, so this side is done. I'm gonna go ahead and clip it. That's awesome. And we're gonna go ahead and get started over here. And then when I'm done, then I'll put it all up in like a bun and start washing my face. I bought a new oil cleanser um, only because like I do wanna try a couple different ones. I bought an Origins one, I'll show you guys. I had to go to the store yesterday, not had to, but I went to the store yesterday to get like um, back to school period kit stuff so I could um, show you guys the period kit that I would take to school personally. And I know you guys are probably like, girl, you're not in school, but I'm just saying like, this is just what I would take to school. And I do wanna talk about school really fast because I know a lot of my girls out here, my guys out here are getting anxious with the back to school. But, um, oh crap, I just got this. I got a freaking metal clip wet. I remember having an anxiety attack when I had to go back to school. I was in online school, but it was still really nerve wracking for me because of the schoolwork, like I'm a, I'm a really hard worker and I, and I like, I always love to have really good grades. So I, I had prepared myself for what it was gonna take, especially with still doing YouTube. And at the time I had my niece and it was just like a lot to handle. Um, it wasn't just me taking care of my niece, of course, like my whole entire family did, but it didn't matter. I still wanted to be there for my niece and stuff like that. I really had no choice. She needed as much love as she could possibly have with what she had gone through. And, um, it was just like really nerve wracking. I remember like having an anxiety attack and having to pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. But the only thing that got me through that school year was Jesus. And then let me tell you something, it was easier for me because I wasn't online schooling and I wasn't really influenced by the other kids. But... Through Christ, you can do all things. I know school is different. A lot of people have their own opinions about certain things and people are very strongly opinionated. But like I said, through Christ, you can do anything. Stay fed with the word. He will guide you through that schoolwork. He will guide you through those school years and he will help you to stand firm. He does not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind of power you can be powerful through christ you don't have to be mean or judgmental but you can be powerful through christ you ain't gotta fall into the devil's traps because the devil uses a lot of these kids out here a lot of them are bullies a lot of them feel like if you don't agree with their okay i'm gonna have to turn my ringer off let me just put my, my phone in my room if you don't believe in what they believe in and they're just they're disgusting and um they'll just try to tear you down and call you all kind of names but you know who your father is you know who's there for you and who is present with you in school. He's sitting right next to you. Know that. He is with you. He is with you. He is with you. And as long as you handle every situation with Jesus, I promise you it'll all work out. I feel like Jesus is the only way these kids are going to start getting through these school years nowadays because school is becoming really different. And I think the social media, well, I know, the social media really has a lot to do with it. And here we are circling back to TikTok. TikTok is really influencing these children. They're growing up way too fast. They're believing anything that they see on TikTok and they bring that junk to school and it makes it harder for the other kids. They call you names, they talk about your body, they talk about your face, they talk about absolutely everything. Jesus don't make no junk, he don't make nothing ugly. You are gorgeous, you are beautiful, you are beautifully made by Jesus Christ. Beautifully and wonderfully made. He does not make junk. You go outside, you see all those beautiful trees, you see all that beautiful stuff. God made that and he also made you. But let me tell you something. The cool thing about you is that you're made in his image. There's not one person on this world, in this world, that isn't made in God's image. Which will make sense why the devil loves to try to change us and attack us about how we look. And he tries to come for our identity because he knows we were made in his image. How about you me? Are you joking? I look like God? Stop playing. And then he tries to make us believe that our identity is in all these different things, but our identity is in Christ. Everything Jesus calls you is what you are. If that, if, if, if what you're hearing in your head and what people are telling you that you are isn't lining up with the word of God, it's the devil. Okay? It's the devil. He loves to torment you with all kinds of things, with these what ifs, lies and made up scenarios and just absolutely anything he knows could take you down, but he's not going to use anything that he doesn't believe is going to take you down. He's been studying you. He knows exactly what to use to bring you down, but it doesn't have to because Jesus is the one that is wonderfully able to help us through temptation and through sin. Why? Because he faced it all and he didn't do it. That's why he's the only one that can help us through this lifetime. 
Amen. And then the amount of temptation there is with boys as well. And I'm talking to my girls right now because I can only speak from like the girl side of everything. But like there's so much temptation as well in school with these boys. I am so grateful. Let me tell you something like this is coming from somebody that resisted those temptations. This is coming from somebody that didn't do everything that boys asked me to do and didn't do what they wanted me to do. I'm so happy. Girl, you have goals and you have things that you want to do in the future. And this is just to go deep straight into it. This is, go, this is to dive straight into it. When these little nasty boys want you to send little nasty text messages and want you to send pictures of yourself, images of yourself, that is forever out there. Don't do it. I would sit at the table with all these different girls and I would hear all their nasty stories. And like, of course, I was nosy. I'm like, okay, girl, blah, blah, And... They would be sending these pictures out to these guys and eventually their images would get out. Um, I had a different respect from males in school. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I had a whole different respect than the other girls had. I was more like, we bros. Then I am like, yes. I remember some girls asking me, like, how do we get in with these guys? How you be getting in with these guys? Like, how do they protect? And how, they, how are they like their brothers and stuff like that? And I'm like, girl, it's a respect thing. Ain't nobody out here just get to talk to me any kind of way. Ain't nobody out here just got images of me sitting up passing around to their bros. I remember, like I was telling y'all recently, I was telling y'all recently about this boy that I went to school with. And yes, we had a crush on each other, blah, 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 blah. And he was asking me for stuff like that. And I was like, absolute no. Well, the girl that I was supposed to be like good friends with and we grew up together, she ended up going by my going behind my back and messing around with this guy what she did was she did send those things and when I tell you guys this boy didn't respect her in any way shape or form he ended up going around the school telling everybody disrespecting her talking about her behind her back I never had that issue with that guy to this day he still has respect for me and once you lay down them boundaries and you lay down those rules even if it's hard girl they act different and you feel different you have a different confidence when you know your stuff ain't just out there like it's respect you got to have for yourself. You got to love yourself enough to know, oh, no, I'm straight. I'm straight. Now, I also will say that a lot of my, you know, strong boundaries came from having a strong mom. My mom ain't been with no man ever since her and my dad got divorced. And she's always been a very classy woman. She never prioritized no man. She never done none of that. And like I said, it has a lot to do with it because the girl that did send those images, her mom, like boldly was cheating on the dad like I would go over there and she'd be laying on top of another guy while the dad was out working trying to pay the bills and make sure everything was held up in the house and she'd be you know boldly cheating on that guy and her mom was morally about the males and morally like getting home at six o'clock in the morning you know doing nasty stuff and my mom wasn't so my mom really did set that example for me but even if your mom's not setting that example and even if your friends are out there doing that type of stuff that doesn't mean you have to do those kind of things because you are your own person. Remember that you are not who your parents are. You are not who your parents, you are not what your parents have done. You are not that you are your own individual. You are your own person. Jesus has a whole separate plan for you in your life than he has had for your parents. So love yourself enough to not do things like that. Do not give into the temptation of the devil because the devil is using these little boys. He is giving them a spirit of lust. He's trying to get you to crumble because he knows if he can do that, he can make your self-esteem low. And if he gets your self-esteem to be low, then he can get you to do all kind of other things, try to heal it and try to um, like seal it, not seal it, but try to like cover it up. And then it's just an ongoing cycle. So it starts right now in the school. It starts right now in school to say, no, nah, I'm good. I'm going to focus on my schoolwork. I have big goals. Yes, ma'am, you're going to respect me. Yeah. You know, I can still be nice to those girls, but that don't mean I got to do what them girls is doing. Okay. <laughs> All right. I remember girls saying a little stupid stuff to me in school. Like, I'm telling you, like, once you do the nasty, you're going to love it. Like, you're never going to be able to go back. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm straight. I'm good. Okay, I'm a little girl. And I knew I was a little girl. And I knew that did not make sense. What can you provide for me and what can I provide for you? What, what, what are we doing? What's going to come out of this? Nothing. With spiritual darkness i didn't know anything spiritually but i knew that it was wrong i was never into those nasty gross guys i was never into making gross nasty statuses it just was not me my mom set an example but even if you are facing those temptations it does not mean you have to give in to them temptations you are going to be so proud of yourself when you get older like girl i didn't do that love and even if you have girl repent of your sins 
receive his forgiveness, believe that you are forgiven, and move on. Guilt is of the devil. Guilt is of the devil. It is not of Jesus Christ. Love yourself enough to forgive yourself, become a new person in Christ, and move on. Think ahead, you know? You gotta think ahead. Think about why are they asking me these things? Why are they wanting me to do these things? Oh, so they can do little nasty stuff with these things, with these images. They can do little nasty stuff with it. Do gross stuff with it and use you as if you're an object. What? I am a human being. I am Jesus Christ's baby girl. No, no. When you're young, look it, I was not expecting for him to send me Jordan so young. But obviously it was for a reason. You know, obviously, you know, I'm not questioning it. Not everybody's story is the same. My, uh, my mindset has always been when you're young, this is the time to get everything you got to get done done. This is the time to try to become financially stable. I'm not saying you're going to be financially stable when you're young, but this is the time to work towards becoming financially stable. This is the time to have fun as well, not have children so young. If you have, hey, you can still have fun with your babies. It is what it is. I'm not dissing nobody. There's always, with Jesus, there's always a great outcome. There's always great things you can still do. The Bible says babies are blessings. So, hey, that is an amazing thing. Look, they're blessings. I wonder why the devil be after these children, okay? And they're so pure. Man. Um, so, what was I going to say? This is the time to focus. This is the time. This ain't the time to be sitting up, you know, worried about boys and worried about that extra stuff. Why do you think kids have such a hard time with, you know, boys and girls? It's because the devil is trying to distract you. And he wouldn't be trying to distract you if you didn't have a calling and an amazing purpose in your life. He is trying to distract you. Girl, he's trying to wipe you off the map. And if he can start that young, then he can use that for the rest of your life. You know, depending on men, depending on guys to keep you happy and all that extra stuff. Bro, that dryer, let me tell y'all something. It gets so loud, it's crazy. I turned it down. For some reason, it keeps going back up. You can turn off the alarm and you can also turn it all the way up. And when I tell you guys, the alarm is so loud, you can hear it from outside like it's crazy. It's, it's the wildest thing. But girl, we are on the last section of hair. After this, I'm going to go ahead and brush my teeth. And then I'm going to work on my facial care. I don't know why I haven't been drinking this drink. Um, and then whatever the heck else. I also want to put on some nails today because... I'm getting used to having my nails on, y'all. Like, this is way easier to do without my nails. That's why I love press-ons, so I can take them off and put them on. I have an appointment coming up to get my toes done soon, like the next couple days. I'm super excited because, girl, my toes need to be done. Okay. It's like I still have my mom go in even when I don't go in. Either I'm busy or my toes just don't really need to get done, but I always make sure my mom gets in there just because I ain't going in. Don't mean she ain't got to go in. So uh, I still make sure she got all her stuff done before her birthday. Fresh nails, fresh toes. Okay. Because look it. <laughs> if a man want to come up in my mama's life you better come correct because if you can't take care of her better than i've been taking care of her mm, you good bro if you can't provide better than i've been providing for my mom to you good you straight you can go on about your life i don't care how fine you are up oh, have a nice day sir uh-huh and my mama know it too uh-huh i'm so happy i can finally give her everything she deserves and jesus has used me to be able to but do you see that though? Like if I would have fell into the trap of those boys and stuff like that, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm able to do now. And the more you resist temptation, the more Jesus can trust you with better things and better things and better things. And I believe that's another reason why he blessed me with Jordan because he has been able to trust me not to do stupid things with guys. Listen to that little voice of don't do that. Cause that's the Holy Spirit. That is the Holy Spirit. Or sometimes he'll send people. Like I remember a family member trying to get me to drink and trying to get me to smoke at a very young age. And I remember one time, one of their friends was behind her saying, and I looked at her and I was like, I'm not trying to get me to smoke a cigarette. Like young. And her friend was like, Don't do it. Or um, the guy she was messing around with, his cousin was like, please don't, please don't smoke, baby girl. Don't do it. He said, don't listen. Why are you trying to get her to smoke? Like, she's a little girl. Like, what's wrong with you? And she's like, ah, 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 ah. and he was like, don't do it, baby girl. You ain't got to fall into this temptation. Don't do it. You good. You smart. He said, you real smart. All right, girl, I brushed my teeth. I got my headband on so I can go ahead and get started on skincare without, like, 
getting my hair wet and the product dripping down on my face. Girl, I learned that the hard way, letting product get on my dang forehead. Hold on. I don't know why. I just love the light in my shower, so I keep it on. Of course, I'll have to like... That's one thing I like about renting, even though I plan on buying in the next two years. Um, just because rent is just too expensive or so expensive. Um, one thing I like about renting is that there's maintenance. So like you can always call for maintenance and always get things replaced and always get things done. So when that light gets out, I don't really, when that light goes out, I don't know how to replace it. So I'll have, of course, maintenance come out and replace it. That's the only thing I like about renting is that I can just call maintenance and get things done and it's not like my property, but it doesn't matter because girl, in two years, I'll be ready to buy. Um, and by that time I'll be ready, I'll figure things out. I'm gonna watch how they change that though when they come out because when I plan on buying a house, I still plan on having lights like that. Anyways, um, I just love having that light on because it just, it's just, it's so beautiful. Anyways, I brushed my teeth, my breath is fresh, my pre poo is in, let's get started on skincare. So, uh, sorry, excuse me. Let me grab this mask. I'm pretty sure the mask is down here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, here it is. I need to go face mask shopping because this is the only face mask, gosh, I'm really clumsy today. This is the only face mask I have right now and it is the Caudalie, Caudalie, I'm not really sure, but it's a moisturizing mask. I got it when I was on Accutane, um, but I'm just gonna use it. Not even that my face is dry, but I just wanna do a mask. I need to buy more masks, you guys. I need to go face mask shopping. Um, and then the other day, yesterday, I went ahead and I bought this Origins Checks and Balances. I guess it's supposed to check and balance your skin. It is a milky cleansing oil. So I just bought this. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use this oil today to cleanse my face. Then we're going to put the face mask on. And then while the face mask is on, I need to wash my makeup brushes because my makeup brushes are disgusting. Um, and then I'll probably just hop right straight in the, no, hop straight in the shower. Let me wash my hands. I also, y'all, the rugs that I washed on my recent video, I still haven't laid them down because they get dirty so fast because they're white. So I'm going to go ahead and lay them down right before I get in the shower so I can have the full bathroom experience. And also, thanks so much to everybody that like gives me tips without being rude. And um, everybody was like emailing me telling me that the reason why my concealer was coming off was because I had already said it. So thanks so much. I will not be doing that again. I'll make sure I just get the concealer right and then I'll put the setting powder on. So thanks so much. I love when people are like able to give me tips without being like shady. I don't know anything about makeup, so thanks. Okay, so I shake it. Ooh. Okay, shake it. <clears throat> shake well to activate. Gently smooth onto dry face, lips, and eyes. Add warm water and massage until milky. I think you're supposed to massage it first and then add the water. That's what I learned from Hiram. Isn't that his name, Hiram? Yeah, it's Hiram. I used to watch Hiram all the time. Love him. I love how unproblematic he is. Ooh, okay, yeah, yo. Come on, come on, what you doing? What you doing, stop playing. All right, shake it onto my hand. I got a good amount, all right. It smells like gasoline, I don't know about this. Mm, that cheap one I have, or I packed it away, that one seems to work pretty good for me. All right, let me rub this in. Girl, my face gets so red. I don't understand. I'm just super pale. I know my face, my dad's face used to get like that when he used to wash his face too. I'm just super pale. The redness is real. Work it, work it, work it. Okay. I've been using my prescription customized cream for my acne and my dark spots every other day because I had to get my skin adjusted to it. So I've been using it every other day. I used it yesterday, so I'm not gonna use it today. And then I'm gonna slowly work my way up to using it every single day. So today I'll just use that niacinamide serum that I bought on my recent video, the Bye Bye Dark Spots. Mm, I don't really like this cleansing oil. It might be good for my makeup. I don't like it. It doesn't get as milky as my other one. Mm, I don't like it. Y'all charging all my money for this oil? This is garbage. I just because it's expensive doesn't mean anything. That other one, that DHC one, the deep cleansing oil that I got for cheap at Target, that one's way better than this one. I don't like this one. Let me rinse it off. 
My face does not feel as clean as the other one makes my face feel clean. It just wasn't feeling clean when I was washing the oil off. Like the other one makes my skin feel like super clean already when I'm taking the oil off and it gets super milky so I know all the oil's off. But my face does feel really clean. Talking too soon. We'll see. I'm going to keep using it and we'll see how I feel about it in due time. Anyways, let's start putting on this moisture mask. Um, what I will say about this cleanser is that it did make my skin a little drier than the other one. Which obviously isn't like a good thing. I don't know why I'm trying to think it's a good thing. Only because I need to be manipulating my skin into not, you know, producing so much oil. But I'm going to put on this moisture mask. You can put it on for 10 minutes, but we'll see how long my makeup brushes take to clean. And I want to show you guys how I clean my makeup brushes. I have tried every kind of soap in the world to clean my makeup brushes, but the best one is Dawn Dish Soap, the new one. The new platinum one. Also, this face mask, you can't see it when you put it on. It's like a cream. It's basically like putting on a moisturizer. You can't see it, so um, I'm just going to leave it on my face. And it says it's supposed to moisturize. What else did it say it's supposed to do? Remove the excess product after 10 minutes or leave on overnight. Okay, so the mask is on. You just can't really see it. Let's rinse that off and let's start working on these makeup brushes. And I don't know why I was like, I need to buy more because I hate having to like clean it all. Well, girl, what you're going to do is you're going to have to have bigger cleaning days, like longer makeup cleaning brush days because you're going to have so much more makeup brushes. But anyways, that's what it is. And then <clears throat> as far as the amount of shedding I had in total on my entire head, this is the shedding. Oops. This is the shedding I had. Pretty good amount, but it's really not that bad. It could be worse. All right, girl, let's get into it. So I, of course, disinfect the sink. So I, I just sprayed some bleach. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe the bleach out because I'm gonna be cleaning my makeup brushes like in the sink. So of course I don't want like any bacteria on them. I'm gonna also go ahead and rinse it out just to make sure there's no bleach on my brushes or anything. Wash my hands, make sure there's no bleach on my hands. All right, so I went to Marshall's one time. I was filming. Um, I went to Marshall's one time. I'm sure you can get this on Amazon as well. And I found like a makeup brush cleaning pad. So it just sticks straight to the sink. And I stick it straight onto the sink because it's got like these little suction cups at the bottom. And you guys, when I tell you this thing, it really suctions to the sink. It really suctions to the sink. So I do that. I get decently hot water, okay? I put Dawn dish soap on the scrubby thing and I just use this um, Dawn Platinum Easy Squeeze because it is really easy. And then whatever makeup brushes need to be cleaned, I clean them that way. So I just get the makeup brush wet and then I go all over the scrubby thing. And you guys see all that makeup that's coming off? It's super simple, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that with all of like my facial brushes, like the ones with bristles. And then I'll also go ahead and show you guys how I clean my makeup sponges. Actually, the best way to clean your makeup sponges is to soak them, but uh, I didn't do that. It's the best way to do it. Um, that is the most effective way is to soak them in hot water and Dawn dish soap, but I didn't do that. So at this point, I'm just going to show you guys how I clean them when I haven't soaked them. And then also, when I get done washing the actual makeup brush, what I do is, hold on, I lay down paper towel over here, and then I just lay my makeup brushes out for them to dry, to, to air dry.
soak them. I just get them wet. Let the water get in there, all right? It'll make them larger. I also do that to put my foundation on. I just get them wet, get them as big as I can, and then get all the water out. Get a paper towel, get some more water out. But I put the Dawn dish soap in my hand, okay? Like that. And it just does better when the Dawn dish soap is directly on the foundation or whatever is on that sponge. And then I squeeze out that foundation. See how this all coming out? See all that? Squeeze it out. Now, it does take a good amount of Dawn dish soap because I like to get as much foundation as I can. Now, don't get me wrong, they're still stained, so it may still look like some foundation is left, which probably is, but I just get majority of the foundation out. Okay, I just squeeze it out. Sometimes I put it directly where the foundation is. I work it in, and I squeeze it out. And I squeeze it out. And I get as much as I can. And I usually only use the tips of these um, these sponges, so there's usually only product at the tip of the sponges. And then you also want to make sure that there's no soap left in the sponges. Like I said, I get all that Dawn dish soap and squeeze. This one seems like it just needs it one more time. As you guys can tell, there's barely anything left. Squeeze. Squeeze. All right. And I make sure there's no more soap left in that sponge. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these, even the tiny ones I do that with. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these off camera. All right, girls, so the makeup brushes that were dirty are now clean. I got all of my beauty blenders clean. I do see like a little spot on this, but I don't really care. How I also test to make sure that there's no more foundation in these is I tap it onto the paper towel. If there is makeup coming off on the paper towel, they're not fully clean, but as you guys can tell, they are clean, yes ma'am. Don't ever in your life try to scrub these with one of these mats because it will rip at your little beauty blenders. Um, I have this light right here because these are battery operated and my mom has like a bunch of these and like a bunch of fake candles and they're all battery operated. So when the electricity went out, we still had light. <laughs> Jordan's is super cute in his room though. I told him to keep his in his room because look how, I mean, in his bathroom. Because look how cute it looks in his bathroom. I love that. I love his little vibe in his bathroom. It is the most cutest thing in the world. All right, I'm trying to get as much of Jordan's laundry done as I can right now because the day after I filmed the video, I was working and then um, the day after that, I was also working and then the electricity went out. So I haven't been able to use the washer now that the washer's back working, I'm trying to get as much of his laundry done as I can. So I'm getting started on his second load right now. He's got way more dirty laundry than I have, so I'm focusing on his right now. But anyways, girl, um, I think I got all of my self-care done. Now, all I really need to do is get in the shower and wash my hair. I had packed away all my products that day to go to a hotel, but I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair with this Aveda, ooh, shampoo or lime, you guys. This stuff makes my hair smell so amazing. So I'm gonna get in the shower and wash my hair up with this. Let me put that back in my shower. Clean up with my Dove cucumber in my downstairs area with my baby Dove, yes ma'am. Baby Dove. All right, girl. Let's get cleaned up.
yes ma'am my hair smells amazing it looks amazing it's different every single time i really need to get like a down pack routine how i used to um because like my hair routine is like different every single time but today all i did was i used this mayo avocado hair milk and i mixed it not mixed it um i did this one first and then i went in with my cherry almond leave-in conditioner by aveda and then i just combed it through with this comb and then i just kind of like scrunched my curls up i don't really feel like doing lashes today so i was like i'm gonna do lashes or nails because I don't want to do both like it's gonna be lashes or nails and i'm gonna choose nails so we're gonna go ahead and do some nails but i wanted to go ahead and share with you guys what i'm smelling good with today so my one of my top favorite scents from pink like victoria's secret pink is warm and cozy love it it smells like soft vanilla toasted coconut and passion fruit y'all this stuff smells so amazing so of course i'm gonna go in with the body spray they change the packaging like every two years and they have new packaging so when this runs out, girl, I'm running to the store to get um, refilled, okay? Because, girl, this scent actually lasts. It's actually weird. I say weird a lot, even though it's not weird. But it's like, it's pretty wild how this body spray does last. There's only a couple body sprays I know that actually last. Um, coconut and cotton. What is it called? Fresh Coconut and Cotton by Bath and Body Works. Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker and then warm and cozy by victoria's secret that actually lasts and since warm and cozy is a little sweet i'm gonna go in with my fancy by jessica simpson this is super cheap you can get this on fragrance net and then also to make it a little bit easier for you guys to find this pre-poo i'm gonna go ahead and have that on my amazon storefront my amazon storefront is always linked down below i appreciate every single sale and every single thing you guys purchase on there i do earn a small commission and i thank every single one of you guys so much for every single thing you guys purchase off of there y'all trust me for real okay y'all i still have not gotten my necklace fixed i feel so bare but i just have not made it to the jewelry doctor like if i was still lansing i would just go to my regular jewelry doctor in like the little friend or area if you're from lansing you know that jewelry doctor is awesome but see my shirt's getting a little wet i spray a lot of perfume y'all it'll dry up and look all right and i usually take my jewelry there because i just i love their service they get it done super super fast um, but I need to take it to a different jeweler out here. I'm just getting adjusted to like new stuff out here. Um, but my outfit, it's pretty basic. I just have on this shirt, as you guys can see. And I have on like some baggy pants. I bought these a while back at Target. I'm not sure if you guys remember. I need to go ahead and tie this down here so it's not too loose and going past my ankles and getting dirty. But I love these pants. They're super baggy and super cute. And they go with like tight shirts baggy shirts every single kind of shirt i love these pants and i also have like a pink pair my room is back to crazy i don't even want to show it i really should make my bed to like make my room look better but like i'm not very consistent with making my bed am i the only one that like doesn't make their bed like that like i know people that like made their bed every single morning and i'm just like not a bed maker I need to get into it though. It would definitely make me feel better about my room. So I'll probably have Jordan just help me make my bed. My bed's so huge that I keep having to go from side to 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 adjust the covers and adjust the dang pillows. I'm super hungry too. I need to get food. I really want steak and shake. Steak and shake's a little bit far out, but I know Jordan will take me. Um, I have packed away my nails, so they ain't here. I got my little lavender diffuser going. If you guys start hearing my stomach rumble, do not mind me. I've been like super hungry these past two days. Yesterday I ate like a million times, and then today I woke up. I ate two sandwiches from um, Starbucks for breakfast. I had like the what? The bacon, egg, and gouda um, sandwiches. Those are so good, you guys. So I had two of those, but now I'm craving steak and shake, so I need to ask Jordan if he'll take me. Anyways new nails who this okay girl i got some new nails these are my new nails i need to figure out which ones i want to wear i'm thinking these ones only because i recently had a set similar to this one and i never had a set like this so i'm gonna go ahead and put these on i'll go ahead and link down below um the etsy shop that i get these from and also my discount code you can get 20 percent off yes ma'am stomach if you don't stop right now I start to get a little moody when I'm hungry. So if you guys can tell like the the mood change. Yeah, girl, I am getting a little moody. Okay, so let's get these nails on. Alcohol wipe. And I'm not going to buff my nails this time. I've been buffing them every single time and my nails are like not looking the best. So I'm not even going to buff them. 
And I'm gonna try to quickly put these on because I am so hungry. I love Steak and Shake, they're steak burgers. <laughs> it's just like they just melt in your mouth and they're made fresh. I just, I'm obsessed, I love it. What the heck is that red mark on my dang chest? They're made fresh, I am literally obsessed. They're made fresh, I'm obsessed. <gasps> all right, so I got the nails all dried out. Y'all know my favorite nail glue. I also have that on my Amazon storefront. It is the Nail Bond Nail Glue, y'all. This stuff is just awesome. You paint it on like nail polish and just stick the dang nails on. I love the vibe of my room, you guys. I love greenery, I love the diffuser. Oh girl, already I am loving this baby pink. I kind of put it on a little quickie, but girl, we loving it. They really match my toes too. Oh my gosh, it's about to look like I got a nail. I got a manicure and a pedicure. It's about to look like that. This is like the same exact color of my toes, but my toes need to be done so bad, y'all. My toenails have been growing so much faster. I used to only get my toes done like once a month, and if I wanted to, I would get it done every two weeks, but I didn't need to because my nails weren't growing like that. But ever since I got here, I've been eating healthier. But I'm eating healthier. Mm -hmm. I've been eating healthier and so my nails are growing really fast so that's exciting even like my actual nails are growing super fast like they were not growing I believe the mix of stress and everything that was going on in my old apartment like the spiritual warfare it was girl it was not healthy it was like, really bad ever since I moved here everything has been flourishing like everything has been getting better like hey there's power in numbers too like there really is power in numbers I love living with my family it is actually super dope i love the french manicure look on me it just looks super classy and like bouge not classy bougie ratchet classy and bougie imagine claiming to be ratchet that is pretty sad Ooh, and i always tell y'all i always get my nails in the shape medium square it just looks the best on my hands, medium square does. Medium square just always looks super cute on my hands. And they're more functional. Um, when I put on them, them long square ones on like, not my recent video, but the video before that, I was starting to get adjusted to them. Golly, drink some water. Let me go grab my water. I was starting to get adjusted to them. Oh, I was sitting on a wet towel. Hold on, is my butt gonna look wet? <gasps> Oh my gosh, stop kidding, guys, what the heck? No, y'all see that? Mm. Oh, see. I hate that, I hate the feeling of wet clothing. My mom used to let us go run out in the rain, and then like, my only thing was like, when I came back in the house, immediately get me a fresh, dry pair of clothing at the door, I'm not kidding. And that was like, the agreement. <laughs> I was starting to get adjusted to those long nails, but it doesn't matter because what looks best on me is the medium square. Once in a while, I might get some long nails, who knows? But these just, oh my gosh, she slays my nails every single time. Stop playing. Only thing I would say is that I wish there was more nail polish on the side. I'll probably have to message her about that. Like, can you make sure that the nail polish is on the side? That doesn't bother me that much though. That's just the only thing I would say. But it doesn't bother me that much at all. Like not having nail polish on the side because it's not really noticeable and I'm not like too picky with my nails. I know some people are like more picky with stuff like that, but I'm not really that picky. I did my eyebrows, like I put glue on them, but if I don't wait for them to dry and I start doing facial expressions, expressions they start to like reshape, but it is what it is. They don't look the best, but as long as they heal down, it is what it is, girl. Oh my gosh, y'all, so far, so freaking good. Look how cute. That middle finger is so adorable. I was gonna show you guys just the middle finger, but I was like, Hold on. Somebody might go and be like, Chloe has me sticking up her middle finger at people. <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. I got to start getting more pink nails, like baby pink nails. Oh my gosh. I went and quickly asked Jordan to, um, or I went and asked him if he could take me to Steak and Shake. He was taking a nap, but he's getting up and he's taking me to Steak and Shake. I'm super excited. And I'm really grateful only because Steak and Shake is, it's a little bit farther out than a lot of the places out here. So I'm really excited because Steak and Shake is my favorite. I don't know why it's been my favorite restaurant since I was, when did my mom and dad get divorced? Because when they got divorced was when my dad would take us to Steak and Shake all the time because it was cheap. And they literally, it was a $4 meal for everybody. The entire meal was $4 for everybody. Things are not the same. Now you got to pay like 15 bucks for a meal, but they used to be $4 for the full meal. 11, 12. So it's been my favorite restaurant since then and I'm 20 now. So, oh, my, that's weird to say. I keep thinking I'm 19 and I'm 20. It is the weirdest thing. What's happening? I'm so old. I'm just like, it's just weird that I'm 20. I feel like I was just 10. 
Like that is the weirdest thing. Like time flies so fast. And that's why it's so important to enjoy the journey. Not trying to get places so fast, but enjoy the journey. Enjoy the times right now. I love that. My mom told me that some years back and I never really forgot it. Nails did. Yes, ma'am, y'all. Look how cute these nails are. They fit my hands so well. I love them. Oh my gosh. And I love this color on my skin, you guys. Y'all know I had to hold this dang bottle because it's really matching. Oh my gosh. I'm so obsessed. And they go so pretty with my ring. I am obsessed. But Jordan and I, hold on, let me lock the doors. You'll never know. Jordan and I just got some steak and shake. Y'all know this is my favorite place. I've said it a million bajillion times. Your girl, I usually get a triple steak burger, but this time I got a double steak burger with pickle, tomato, uh, mustard, mayo, uh, tomato. I already said that. <laughs> small fry and a little small Coke. Yes, ma'am. Hold on. Let me get, get y'all set up. I don't know why I decided to wear a jacket on the hottest day. I'm just kidding. Yes, I do know. Usually stores are like... Usually stores are super cold, so I always bring a jacket just in case because I get so cold in stores and it literally makes me miserable. That is real. Legitimately. I'm so excited to eat. Oh my gosh. You guys ever get like so antsy to get to your food that you start having an attitude? I'm like, okay, anyways. <laughs> Ooh. That's yours. What you got, a garlic? Yeah, I got a steak burger? garlic steak burger. A garlic steak burger. I ain't never had it, but we gonna try it. Here's your fries. What do you want me to put on? You want me to leave them in the bag? I'll carry them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you brush out your eyebrows? That looks so good. Thank you. That boy know he got some eyebrows. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is just, thank you Jesus so much for our flute. Uh, for our flute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Jesus so much for our food. May this food bless and nourish us. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I do this every single time I eat. I'm like, mm! they crisp the burger a little bit too. Ooh, my face is getting red from spreading it. Nah. Steak and Shake has bomb fries. Bomb steak burgers and it's real steak burger. Mm -hmm. Like it's a real steak burger. It's made fresh every time. And it's cool because like you can see them in the kitchen. Like if you were to go in, you can see them in the kitchen. Like it's real beef. They flatten it out with that thing. And they're so flat that they cook super fast, and so you get your food pretty darn fast. That's one thing about Steak and Shake. Like, when they get on the intercom and be like, okay, what can we make fresh for you? They, they really mean they it. They ain't lying, yeah. This tastes better than yesterday. Really? I had Steak and Shake yesterday, you guys. And the tomatoes weren't that fresh. They were a little bit mm -hmm. soggier. This is a good fresh tomato. Come on, man. What is this? Wait a minute. Why would she just pull it next to us? All these spots. That's weird. Isn't it weird when, like, People just pull up next to you. They didn't even order no food, they just pulled up. Even the buns are fantastic. Yeah, this one is glazed up. Mmm, they got the shoestring fries. Oops. Man, I wish Target, it's right across the way, I wish Target had um, all the laundry stuff I need, but it's only Walmart that has it. It's like mm -hmm. literally exclusively at Walmart. Look, we're gonna do this real fast because the crowd in Walmart is a whole different type of crowd, okay? Let's get it over with. Okay, so I always get like a little box of gain only because I love the smell of it and I'm really going for the gain kind of smell this time around. So I got a little box of gain. I got a bag of OxyClean because I get stains out. Um, this is detergent. It is the same brand as this, but it's just a detergent. I mix a bunch of different detergents. So I have that detergent. I have Foca detergent and I also have this super cheap little Roma detergent. Um, I got two of the Roma detergents because they're like a dollar. They're super cheap. And I got two things of the Gain regular scent, like the original Gain scent. These are the beads, and these are what really make the powder smell so awesome. Now, they are a little pricey, but I'm telling y'all, this detergent lasts for so long, it doesn't even make sense. And then I got the girls some matching sweaters. This is Essence, and that is Locket. They sew Gap clothing for the babies here. Isn't that so cute? I got them some dog treats, some black trash bags. My mama asked me to get these from here. And then we got two baby gates. 
two white baby gates because these will go nicely with the house and they're not gonna be tacky. And that is my Walmart haul. Don't ask me what's going on with my hair. I do not know. Like I told you guys, it is a different result every single time I wash my hair. And it's because I don't have like a strict routine. Like I don't have like, this is what I do and this is what gives me the best results. I need to start like getting into my hair more and figuring out what I like the best and what routine works the best and like what products I like. Um, I don't know if I like that Aveda conditioner. I don't think it's for curly hair because the girl that was like suggesting it to me, she had straight hair. So I asked her like, does it work for curly hair? She's like, yeah, absolutely. But I'm like, why would I ask her that? How would she know? Anyways, so our Walmart trip costed $193.33. Both the baby gates were 40 bucks. Both the girls' sweaters were 15 bucks. And then of course, like the actual gain detergent, like that's optional. You don't have to add that into your detergent. I just do it because it just works very well. But you don't have to add that. It would definitely be cheaper if you don't because it is like 10 bucks, like a, it, it's an extra 10 bucks, of course. So that's optional. But then the rest of it, I really do suggest um, adding Oxy. And then if you have a cheap laundry powder that you like, or you just wanna do like a bunch of cheap laundry powders, that is also a way to go. I just mix a bunch of different things and it just, it works very well that way. And it's super cheap because over time, you don't have to buy a bunch of different detergents. It lasts super long and it has you not running back to the store so much. But girl, you are kind of worried about the smells, though they do kind of give me a headache. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It be, it be make my head thump. Like it's a different type of like You're right. feeling. I don't know. It I'm does like, make me sick. Like I literally feel really sick. Like my head is actually pounding from the different smells that were in there. It's only at Walmart do I ever experience nasty, disgusting attitudes and the smells are raunchy and out of this world. We walk past at least five people that haven't showered in who knows how long. Yeah. And they're like, they're bathing with like fermented fruit or something like <laughs> it is the ugh, I can't believe how many smells and dirty looks you get in Walmart. It is the grossest thing. And I'm like all these hygiene products here. It's probably the most affordable place you're going to get deodorant from. And you can't pick one up. That's real. I mean, on the way out, that one was crazy. That made was me, different. Made me walk a little faster. We were five feet away from the person. And it still was traveling. <laughs> And he was like, receipt. No, you smell that too. Stop playing with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. And she didn't even look at nothing. She just looked at the price and was like, here you go. Yeah, they be doing that. I don't know. <laughs> they just be nosy. They just want to see what you Oh find. my gosh, babe, my head hurts. Yeah. I don't understand. Oh my gosh, they're built different. The kind of smells that were in there, they are built different. Okay, and people are going to think that I'm being like judgy when I say this. Every single time I looked at a person and they just did not look clean. Each and every time I walk past them, they actually had a smell. Now I'm able to like look at somebody and be like, okay, steer away, steer away. But their smell just travels, it just lingers. How does the house smell? How does your bedroom smell? How does the car smell? Ooh -wee. Now if it was a kid, I could try to understand that. But when you're 40, 30, 25. So yeah, girl, we're headed home. He's gonna put up the baby gates, correct? Yeah, I think so. I'm saying, yeah, yeah. He's gonna put up the baby gates at our stairs and then at the entrance stairs. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys personally the back to school kit that I would take to school um, for your menstrual cycle and for my menstrual cycle. This is what I would take to school. This is what would be safe for me. This is what I would personally take to school. And then we'll see what else happens. I can't wait till my hair gets longer. I cannot wait. It's growing really fast though, so I actually am very grateful for that. Yeah, you got so much beautiful hair. Thank you. Not so much, but I have some beautiful hair. I really do. Whew, girl, I've been having migraines like every single day for like the past four days. I really should get to a doctor. I do plan on it soon. Um, and I woke up today and I was feeling pretty darn fine and I can't even blame it on the dang odor because at this point it's not stopping. But it did start when I started to smell those bad smells in Walmart and now it's just like becoming more and more intense. Whew, but I am happy. Whoa. Hold on. Because, not because, um, they did forward my topical. So my topical is here. My topical's here, babe, that fast. Hey, that's awesome. My topical is here. Thank the Lord. I am so happy about that. The lady um, at USPS was so freaking cool. She's like, girl, we're about to go get that dang package. We're going to go forward to see you and I'm going to call you. Okay? She said, I'm going to also call you if they took that dang package out the dang mailbox. And nowadays, you can actually do claims if somebody stole your package. But I just want to lay down for like at least five minutes 
because my head is pounding like oh my gosh now like I told you guys I was sick a little while ago and then I'm starting to feel better and then now like I've been getting these dang migraines <sighs> so I'm just gonna chill for a little while because girl I don't know what the heck is going on Sometimes it really does help. The other day I was editing and I had been editing like all day and it was nighttime and I had like a really bad migraine and Jordan was like, you need to just stop. He put on relaxing music and just gave me some foot massages and after that, and I drank a bunch of water so I probably should be drinking water right now. After that, I really did feel a lot better. My bed is literally the most comfortable bed in the whole entire world and I felt a lot of beds and every single time like anybody gets into my bed, they're just like, this is the most comfortable bed. Yeah comfortable bed in the world but yeah this is my hair i can shake it like one more time i shook it but not like upside down shake it's just more flat up here it's more wavy up here it's like all my new growth is like super silky and smooth i don't know what's going on and then down here it's more curly but that's pretty common though that's pretty common is to have curls at the bottom and then have like like not as curly hair up here and i think it's because this is the oldest hair of course so it's like more dead not more dead but it's like the oldest hair so it's not as healthy and it's drier i'm just laying here i don't think i've ever done this on camera where i just like lay down but i need it i'm starting to be like more like free on camera so i don't mind just laying down if you ever need to lay down just lay down for a second you don't have to lay down for hours you don't have to lay down for a half an hour but at least give yourself like five to ten minutes step away think breathe and try to feel better well i actually have to use the bathroom my stomach's hurting i'll be back oh my goodness look at my precious puppy oh my goodness look at my baby yeah mama girl you guys look you are the cutest oh my goodness lucky come here let me see her Oh, I'm doing this! Look at my girls! <laughs> okay. Alright, like it. Girl. Okay. Look at these babies! They're so cute! <laughs> Look at them! Oh my gosh, babe, we're getting them more clothes ASAP. Yeah, this is really cute. And they're like good quality because it's Gap. So I'll wash right. them, but I'm not gonna dry them. Essence is the cutest little thing because she's a mini Aussie Doodle, so she's tiny. Oh my gosh, you're so cute, <laughs> sissy. Oh, noiness. Look at my beauty queens. Oh my gosh. I love it, babe. Look at that healthy coat. Ew, get your butt off the screen. <laughs> Ew, stinking butt. Here, take her. Thank you, Pankin. He's going to go put your baby gates up so no more cages. Yep. Unless you got to go somewhere. Have you hold multiple babies just like this? I know. They're so beautiful. Girl, I got some gorgeous dogs. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. My dogs are gorgeous. Essence, I'm not going to lie. She did used to be a little funny looking, but she has grown more into her poodle look. And for some reason, I love the look of poodles. And I just love how they just look. They're just so cute. Like, I'm not saying they're just like for the looks. They're also awesome dogs. But oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. I love them. Their body shapes are the cutest little thing. Essence's tail, I used to hate it. But now it's grown to look super cute. I don't know. They're just so cute, you guys. They are so adorable. And Essence is starting to look more and more like a poodle. And I love how poodles look because they just look super expensive. They're just so cute. I love my dogs. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better. Let's go ahead and start making your girl's famous laundry powder. So the last time I made the laundry powder, it was drift. I used drift beads instead of gain beads. So it smelled like baby powder. I'm going to do that next time. But this time I want to do gain because I've been feeling the gain scent. Y'all see how cute these pants fit. They are so adorable. I kept catching this lady looking at my pants. She was like. I looked at her three times and she was looking at my pants the entire time. Only in Walmart, I'm telling you. Only in Walmart. Okay, so clearly we're out of laundry powder. Clearly. And then that little laundry detergent um, container I have is halfway full. That's all we have left. So let's start making a new fresh batch of laundry powder. When I tell y'all, this is one of the things that I do that is guaranteed to be used up. Like this is our little family secret in here. Is there a cold water? Ooh, okay, I have liquid IVs right there. I usually don't like grape stuff, but liquid IV came out with a grape liquid IV and it tastes like Kool-Aid. I like grape Kool-Aid. <laughs> I do. Okay, let me find my scissors. I know I packed my scissors away because I was going to do my lashes at a hotel. Here they are. 
Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. I don't remember this dang Ultra Oxy smelling that good. It smells like green apples and like... Ooh, it smells like deodorant. Really? Yeah, it smells like a Dove deodorant and like green apples. That smells so good. Okay, Aerial Oxy in. Foca is next. And this is just like a cheap little detergent. And I'm going to mix it as we go. And then I'm going to have Jordan mix a lot of it because I'm not strong enough to mix it all through. We need to get a better designated spoon for this. Like <laughs> know, a right? metal one. Yeah. I'm going to look it up. Can y'all see? I'm so proud of myself. I feel so responsible doing this. That lasted how long? About five months. Yeah, five, six crazy. months. Six months. That's crazy. I haven't made this in so long. It might have been longer than six months. It's been so long. The time's obviously going to be like cut in half now that it's four of us, but it still lasts that long. Right. I can't stand having to run back and forth to the store to get laundry detergent. I still have to go back and forth to get like um, fabric softener, but actually I was going to have you set them up right now, but I want you to stay in here because I know I'm going to need you to mix this stuff around. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 Liquid IVs are good. My favorite is green apple and grape. And oh, the tangerine one. That one's actually like my top, top favorite. Two Roma detergents. After I put these two in, I'm going to put one gain um, container of beads in because I want it to be thorough. And honestly, the detergent, since it is so much, it's never completely thorough. So I don't want the beads just to be at the top because that's what really makes it smell good. I want it to be all throughout the powder. So after I put this next thing of detergent in, I'm going to go ahead and put in one bottle of the Gain Beads. And it's also really fun to make. And if you have like little kids, have them help you. That would be fun for little kids. And then you can like teach them, you know, like slow motion, just a little bit up, not up, but little up, little down, little up little down and you can always look on the side and see what needs to be mixed as well so satisfying dude i swear to gosh now that would be fun for a kid to pour all that in oh my gosh it looks so cool can you bring the camera over here that it looks so cool Oh my gosh, babe. Yeah. How fun, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is so fun. They literally look fun. They look fun. I'm sorry, but that is awesome. Seriously. I like this mixture. It used to be pink. Now it's this color. Yeah, I like this too. And I love that I can customize the fragrance, baby. Guess what Bath & Body Works is coming out with? What? Detergent. What? Yeah, so they said this fall they're going to be coming out with laundry detergent. In the sense, like mahogany teak wood, eucalyptus rain, really? everything. Yeah. And that's gonna be like what, fifty dollars? Yeah, and it's only thirty-three ounces. How big is thirty-three ounces? Like not much. What is this? This is twenty-six point five. So actually, it will be pretty big. Oh. I thought okay. it was gonna be like little because the, they look really little, but they're gonna be big. Oh. If this is only hey, twenty-six, pretty... and they're gonna be thirty-three. Right. Oh, that's kind of dope. I'm gonna try it, but you know, this is way cheaper, and I know I'm not gonna be like forever right. using Bath and Body Works only because I mean, I don't want to speak too soon, but only because like that's just way too expensive, right? Exactly, we'll do it once in a while. Once in a while, exactly. I'm not surprised you would have Bath and Body Works one, yeah. Now, I'm gonna put in the Ariel Downy detergent. Never know whenever. All right, I'm gonna have you mix this in. And then we're gonna put more gain. All right. A lot of that will be good for recycling. They say they got coupons in this box. Oh, well, I know, I never use it. You're sucky. I was trying to use my left hand. I'm I'm right hand down and I was trying to use my left one and it wasn't. Work I was going to say, oh, never mind. I don't need you. True, girl. While he is doing that, we might as well go over these packages. I told y'all I was going to show all you guys. So let's go through these packages. Okay, so like I told you guys, I bought myself a new eyelash fan. 
This is what I like to use when I'm going ahead and I am gluing my eyelashes on. This is super convenient. I have that on my Amazon storefront. I always get the dogs these pink dog bags with hearts on them, but they have like lavender scented ones. They don't even smell for real. So I just bought these ugly purple bags. I'm not a big fan of purple. I remember just hating purple because all the girls in the school liked purple and I thought it was like a move to just like purple. And I'm like, eh, I think it's ugly. I'm not a purple fan. I'm a pink fan. A light baby pink fan like this. Like this, you know? But that's okay. If it's your favorite color, of course, I'm sorry. But I don't like purple. For my dogs, I like pink. So I bought these because it said that it was lavender scented. But when I smell them, they don't really have a smell. So anyways, I bought a thing of dog bags. I always get the best pet supplies ones on Amazon because they're so cheap. This whole entire bag is like six bucks and it lasts us so long. So I got some dog bags. I This is my favorite brow glue. Um, I'll actually add this to my Amazon storefront too. Why do I always go like this? I'll actually, I'll actually add this to my Amazon storefront because I use this every single day. This is what my third bottle of it. I'm almost out. That's why I bought a new one. So this is my favorite brow glue. It is super affordable and it lasts a pretty darn long time. Um, yeah. And then Lomi, I'm super excited because they had like this little deal going on where they were doing like a bunch of minis. What was it? One, two, three, four, five, six minis for like 30 bucks. I didn't know they were going to be this mini, but it's okay. I got a big old Peony Rose acidified body wash because I really do like their body wash. So I got that. So these are all the little um, mini creams I got. I got Lavender Sage, Fresh Alpine, Clean Tangerine, Minted Cucumber, another Clean Tangerine, and Peony Rose. So the only um, creams I've smelled so far is the powder one and the fresh powder one and the, f I was going to say free and clear, but the non-scented one. The non-scented one stinks extremely bad. So let's go ahead and start smelling the scented ones. This one is Peony Rose. At first when you open them, they do have that nasty underscent. But I've found that once you apply it to your skin, that underscent goes away. But not with the unscented one. So, oops, is it going to open? Dang. So it does have that underscent. I'm hoping that when I actually use these and apply it to the skin, it'll go away. And it's going away like it has to sit for a little while and that nasty scent if you know what it is it goes away and it's gone when you first open up the bottle it's like oh but it's gone just like that and i actually really like the peony rose fragrance i have the actual deodorant um like the actual stick deodorant so if you don't even want to take the chance with yours having like an under scent at all i would say just get the stick just get the stick of deodorant, the regular stick, and like I said, rub your finger across it. Make it into a cream, how this comes in, and then apply it wherever you want to apply it. Lumi is awesome on your menstrual cycle or in hot weather. If you are having stress odor, it just gets it good. So I have Peony Rose Body Wash, Peony Rose Mini Cream. That smells really nice. I like that. Like I said, when I apply it to my skin, it's not bad. I do know what clean tangerine smells like because I use that deodorant all the time. I love it so much. So I'm not even going to go ahead and open that one up. And I have got two clean tangerines. This is the Lavender Sage Invisible Cream. I do know what the Lavender Sage smells like because I've been through two sticks of the Lumi Lavender Sage deodorant. So I'm not going to apply that. But the two that I have not smelt like at all at all is Minted Cucumber and Fresh Alpine. So let's smell this because I don't know about minted cucumber. You know what I mean? Like what? But I wanted to go ahead and try it and try the mini before I ever buy like a huge one. So I'm going to apply this one to my wrist. Man, they're kind of hard to open. Ooh. Let's apply this one to my wrist and let's see. Like I said, at first you got to let it cool down because it be smelling like, it smells spitty. Like it's like dog food, but it really does eliminate odor. And these I've noticed that once you put them on the skin and you let it sit for a little while, it doesn't have a bad smell. Ooh, this is minted cucumber and it doesn't smell minty. It is like cucumber. Oh my gosh, I love that. Remember when I had got that unscented Lumi cream? Yeah, you said it was. Just it was the worst smell I've ever smelled in my life. But because it's unscented, all it has is that underscent. It doesn't have any other scent. Other, any other scent. These have an actual scent. So the underscent goes away where the scent stays. Okay, I'm kind of obsessed. I'm kind of obsessed. I'm glad I bought a bunch of these because I knew that that powdery one that I got, the underscent goes away. Mm. 
And I was like, is it gonna be like that with all of them? Let's see this one. Fresh Alpine. I already opened up the ceiling. Mm-mm. I don't know about that. Smell it, babe, because a lot of men say they like this one. I'm not the biggest fan of that one. You don't like it? No, I really don't. The original creams, I guess, they just smell funky all over. So she finally went in and changed it. Mm. So that is so freaking awesome. So I got a bunch of these little Lumis. So far, my favorite is the cucumber, the minted cucumber. It is super cucumbery. It's like the Dove cucumber. It smells so beautiful. I am so excited about that. And if you're new here and you haven't heard me rave about Lumi, Lumi is a whole body deodorant. Yes, a whole body deodorant. And it was actually made by a gynecologist. So I guess he's already done mixing all that stuff, but we're not done opening up packages. So this package is from Fragrance Net. And this one right here, the Be Delicious by DKNY, if you know, you know, this is so beautiful. It's like a musky apple, fresh. It is just so clean, fresh, and feminine. This is what the bottle looks like, you guys. I got mine on Fragrance Net for like 60 bucks because it's more affordable on there, of course. If you were to get it anywhere else, it's like $100. So you get like 40 bucks off. It is so amazing, you guys. This is such a beautiful fragrance. It's also an awesome back to school fragrance. It's like a fragrance for like every single age. I've been savoring the bit that I have left because I didn't know they had it on Fragrance Net. I'm not savoring it no more. Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed. It is so gorgeous. I can't really squirt it too much with my nails on. That sucks. So if you have long nails, you might want to like consider not getting it actually. <laughs> that really sucks because the cap is hard to do if you have like nails because the cap is like in the top. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Be Delicious by DKNY. I want to start making homemade like perfume creams. So I went on Amazon and I found some cute containers to make it at home. Okay. Oh, I bought six pair of these Sister Nature um, eyelashes. These are so cute, you guys. I'm really obsessed. They're super long. So I get to like add these little spikes into other lash sets that I like to go ahead and cut up and put on my eyes so I can stack these and just add these for like my spikes. So cute. So I got six pair of those, but I've already been through like two. And then last but not least, I actually had um, a product irritate me recently and I was super itchy. And the only thing that helped me was the Vagisil Itch Protect or Anti-Itch Cream. Yeah, the Anti-Itch Cream. So I bought a bottle of the Anti-Itch Cream online. I bought the Anti-Itch Wipes and then I didn't even use this because because by the time it is so weird because now where I live Amazon takes like four days to get there by the time I like this arrived I was already done itching so I didn't even get to use it but if I ever get itchy again I will try it y'all know I do not use Vagisil I do not use Summer's Eve I do not like feminine washes I'm not a big fan of it all that scented stuff is this scented though I don't know but I bought a bottle of the Vagisil itch protect plus um feminine wash because girl i was willing to try absolutely anything why does this kind of smell like glue um um it says it soothes itchiness and i will say that their wipes and their cream did work so i was like i'll trust them on the wash so i did buy the wash lemonade <laughs> I used to love the different flavor lemon heads, man. The red ones were my top favorite. The grape ones, eh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sandbox. I know, right? It makes a noise and everything. Yeah, literally. Hold on. Cannot waste these. These things are expensive. Move! <laughs> That's it. Oh, something just went on your carpet. Where? Oh, oh really? one. There we go. I ain't wasting the bead. Looking good. Yeah. Looking good. That's why I did um, one at the top and one at the bottom because I wanted them to be thorough. And we've got a whole bucket of detergent.
Okay, I straightened up the tiniest bit, you guys, because my headache is kind of going crazy right now. Um, I straightened up the tiniest bit, literally the tiniest bit because it was kind of bothering me a little bit, especially this up here. It looks so much better when it's not all cluttery. Like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but for now, it's just going to sit right here. I'm collecting empties in there. I just bought this from Kroger the other day because I haven't seen the solution in so long and I love to clean with it. And I'm going to start putting it in my laundry because as of lately, that gain scent has been addictive, okay? I need to go ahead and put them dang clothes away, but I did clear this off just a tiny bit. I put some lashes in here. Mm -hmm. It's cluttery, but as long as it's clean, I don't really have a problem with that. It's still a mess over there, but I'll get that figured out another day, okay? I just want us to go ahead and just straighten up the tiniest bit because it just makes me feel a little bit better. But my head right now, y'all, whoo, this ain't no joke. That's weird because I'm not sure why the plugins aren't like smelling super strong. It's like when they get to the bottom, not like the bottom, there's like a pretty good amount of liquid in both my plugins in my room, let me show you. But they're just not really working. I'm either just used to the scent or they're just not working. Like that's a pretty good amount of liquid. I don't wanna just waste it, you know? So I'm gonna keep these plugged in in my room. And then the one in the bathroom is completely gone. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that. I'd Whoa! No! The power's out! It ain't no dang use in plugging no dang plugins right now. Ain't no dang electricity. What the freaking heck? Y'all, the power just went out again. Let me put my dang hair and put some shorts on because the AC is obviously off. But it also could be because the plugins I have in my room are the older ones and they could be defected. Whereas this is like the newer kind of one. So. We'll see because obviously I put these in the same exact time I put the other ones in and this one worked all the way to the end. I just found some newer like plug-in ones so I replaced them so we'll see what happens. What I like about the newer Glade plugins is that they light up so they show you that they literally are working whereas the old ones you just kind of have to like guess and like feel them and they get warm. I noticed that one of them was warm one of them wasn't I don't know but I just replaced them with the newer ones they're lighting up over there so that juice better be gone soon. This is my favorite scent by Glade though. It's Sheer Vanilla Embrace, you guys. It is one of the most beautiful vanilla scents. I've been through like 10 packets of this. It is so awesome. I also love that new Cloud one they came out with. I'm not gonna lie. The Fresh Alpine one has that nasty under scent. See, I'm not gonna be taking the chance. That's why I bought a bunch of those little mini tubes because I wanted to know which ones have a stronger under scent and which ones don't. And it's looking like the minted cucumber has the least amount of the nasty scent. I wouldn't go buy anything with my suggestion right now because I still need to test them, test them for real. That was just like a first time review, but I really wouldn't trust it. Hold on. If you ain't texting about my dang electricity, you ain't texting about nothing. Um, but yeah, don't take my review too serious right now until I actually use them on my skin and on my privates for a good amount of time because First time review isn't always the best, um, like, realist review. Let me get to know it a little bit more, and I'll really let y'all know what the real review is. I'm still going to plug it in, though, for when the electricity does come back on. It'll kick in. <sighs> I can't even finish the dang laundry. I'm going to put my hair up and get some shorts on, y'all. I'm just so happy I showered earlier. I'm happy that... What else did I get done? I was able to film, at least, in here, because I was going to have to film in a dang hotel room. And those aren't really very private. Girl, okay, so I got some face framing. My mom did some face framing, but like when my hair is curly, it's super short, but like when it's straight and when I wanna go ahead and like do like the cute little swoopities, it is cute. Where's my, let's go put some bobby pins in because I ain't trying to look like it ain't. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Girls are already starting to feel hot up in here. It's a very hot day. But we were blessed to even be able to have our fridge and our deep freezer come back on and to be able to get some AC in the house. We were very blessed to be able to get some of that done. So if it doesn't come back on tonight, with Jesus, please let our electricity come back on tonight. And it did. We were blessed enough to even have something all day because what time is it? 4.13. So we've had electricity all up until like 4.10. That's pretty darn good. I'm very grateful for that. So let me just be positive, be grateful. I gotta stay hydrated because I get super hot if I'm not hydrated. So that's where we're at right now. I guess I can still use the toilet. I'll be right back.
but realistically i probably should go ahead and start doing the back to school period kit only because they are saying that the power should be back on by tonight but i don't want to take the chance with not being able to like like y'all not being able to see me like it gets really dark in here at nighttime and all i have is like that little candle light so i don't want to take the chance um with which y'all not being able to see me so we're gonna do this right now i'm persevering i don't feel the best right now and i don't know what's going on but i definitely need to talk to a doctor i will guys don't worry about me y'all be flipping out y'all be like please girl go to the doctor like are you okay it it is such a heartwarming like thing to know that so many of you guys out there love me and you guys are concerned with me or concerned about me but um as far as my face getting red girl it gets hot in here it's very hot outside today it's 90 so for us that's super hot and i'm on the top level so of course like heat rises but they're saying they're telling my mom that it'll be on by today i'm grateful that we even had electricity today because i could have been you know in a hotel doing this vlog and realistically the nice hotels do not accept pets where i live like none of the nice hotels really accept pets and the ones that were accepting pets were the ones that were down to the nitty gritty because they were all booked up like the ones that accept pets were already all booked up so they really had like the crackhead hotels um that accept pets right now because all the other ones are booked and i was not trying to vlog in a hotel like that i was gonna persevere and i was gonna like push through it but girl mm, okay so let's do this period kit so i went to target and I'm going to go ahead and this is going to be my updated period kit. I'm going to put this period kit in my um, trunk in my car. The one thing that I need to go ahead and do is go on Amazon and find actually you can go to Dollar Tree and you can find hydrogen peroxide spray bottles to put in your kit. I really suggest that I should have got that from Target. I should have looked around to see if they had the spray bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Um, but find a spray bottle of hydrogen peroxide in the brown bottle. I did a period kit video like a year and a half back. And the problem was, is listen, hydrogen peroxide gets blood stains out like nothing else. So if you get blood on your clothing at school, I really suggest bringing extra pants to school personally. Um, I was the type that when I was on my menstrual cycle, I always wore sweatpants because I was just always super paranoid about like if somebody could see my pad or not. And of course you can do the tampon and the liner, but I have a very heavy flow in the beginning. So I have to do like a tampon and a pad. That's one of my tricks. And it's one of my tips. I always do a tampon and a pad, um, because my flow is that heavy. I know it's pretty crazy. But if you ever get blood on your clothing, the best way to go is to have hydrogen peroxide with you. But when I did that video, I got the hydrogen peroxide and I put it in a clear bottle because I was unaware that you cannot put hydrogen peroxide in a clear bottle because it like it dehumanizes it i don't know but it's not even hydrogen peroxide at that point hydrogen peroxide has to be in a brown bottle so that sunlight can't come in and it doesn't like re-chemicalize <laughs> what is the freaking word if my mom was here she she would say it but it won't work if you put it in a clear bottle so scratch that if you guys seen my period kit video and i put it in a clear bottle scratch that you cannot do that it has to be in a brown bottle so matter of fact let me look online to see if target has spray bottles okay i'm gonna go ahead and put up on the screen this spray bottle it's on the one it's on the walmart website but they have this spray bottle of hydrogen peroxide at dollar tree they have like the little ones like the little hydrogen peroxide spray bottles which is super freaking convenient but if you ever get blood on your clothing you can wait till you get home but if you want to handle it in school which probably isn't the best because like people are gonna be all up in your business um when you get home i would definitely put hydrogen peroxide on that blood stain and work it out i get hydrogen peroxide and i get some soap and i'll be getting it out girl and the blood stains come right out I, I recently had like a super heavy menstrual cycle it just finally ended but i recently had a super heavy menstrual cycle and like i was waking up and my pants had blood on it and that's the only thing that gets the blood stains out hydrogen peroxide you just can't have it in any bottle so um that is a period tip to get your blood stains out hydrogen peroxide if i'd have known that growing up that'd have been awesome i used to try to get it out and then they just wouldn't really come out unless it was like super fresh 
Um, the second tip, like I said, is just to bring some extra sweatpants to school on your menstrual cycle. I would just bring extra sweatpants just, just in case. First of all, my menstrual cycle is not on the same exact date every single month. It's different. It's just, it's different every single month. Now, I only know because I heard... I start to smell different and I get extremely emotional. I cry at everything. Before, I could tell because my discharge would change colors and I would like know, okay, it's coming. So it's different. But before, like when my darker discharge stopped, I didn't really know how to predict it. There would just be days where Jesus would just tell me like, put on a pad, put on a paint liner, and then it would just come and I would just be like, thank you, Jesus, so much. Like every single time he would tell me. But now I can, I can predict it. Anyway, all that dang talking. Hydrogen peroxide is the bomb. I'm not going to put that in this period kit because I could not find a spray bottle. But it's definitely that girl at getting out blood. I found this dang period kit. I cannot wait to put this in my car. This is going to be so freaking cute. I found this period kit at, not a period kit, but I found this little like pouch at Target. It was $10. It is so cute, you guys. I am so obsessed. I have never had so cute of a period kit i've been more into the girly stuff like with when it comes down to like period kits but now i'm not i'm into like the more sleek rich look so i got this all black kit by universal thread if you know you know universal thread has such cute stuff and it was 10 bucks so we're gonna go ahead and fill this up with what i would take to school if i were going to school right now so of course, first things first is you want to have your pads. I've always been a super huge fan of wings. I've always just loved wings. But now, I recently bought this pack of pads. And it didn't have wings. And I was like, what the heck? I don't have wings. I actually prefer it now. It's way less noise. They don't even move around. And they're just way easier to take off. Like, what was the point of me doing wings all that time? So, I've been really enjoying these always ultra thin, long super number two pads. These do not have wings, so I guess like sizes one and two don't have wings, but anything above that does. Anyway, so I get these number two wingless pads. Um, personally for me, on my menstrual cycle, I like to use tampons and pads, so I would probably pack, and you can repack it every single day, like you can go home, repack it, if you run out, you know. Um, I would bring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd probably bring about seven pads with me, just in case. You know, you never know if your girlfriend might need one. It's so clutch. When somebody got you, like somebody's like, hey, I got you. I got something for you. I got something for you. Um, it is so clutch. I'm telling you, I've never had to have it, but I've had to help other people out in school and they were so grateful, you guys. So, and I love being that person to be able to help somebody with something. I'm trying to find the dang tampons I had packed away for this dang, because I was going to film this at a hotel. I guess I'm going to have to go to my closet and go grab some tampons. I'll be right back. I cannot find the tampons that I packed away. I'll be back. I had everything planned out, y'all. I packed everything, absolutely everything, content and all. So, of course, it's going to be your preferable pads and it's going to be your preferable tampons. This pack is awesome. I don't have a Dollar General anymore, but I had got this pack at Dollar General and it came with all these different size tampons. It comes with Super Plus, Super, and Regular. So, depending on your flow, um, I would bring whatever size you need. So, um, depending on your flow, once again, like if your flow is super heavy, like in the beginning of my menstrual cycle, it's super heavy. So I would bring some super pluses and, you know, a couple supers, but just for like, just in case I would bring two of each kind of tampons. So here I have six different tampons. Like I said, you never know who's going to need, um, some tampons and stuff like that. You never know. Always be that super like comfortable friend that nobody's ever afraid to like come to you and ask you if you have something because it can be kind of embarrassing. One time I forgot to put on deodorant and I know not everybody is comfortable with people using their deodorant and I remember having this friend and I remember her acting funny when I asked her if she had deodorant. She's like, no, I don't really have anything. And I was like, okay. So at this point I'm getting like stressed out and I think she started to feel really bad and she was like, actually I do have it. I do have some deodorant here, girl. And I'm like, so you had it the whole entire time, but I didn't want to say nothing. I was just like, okay, you forgot. You forgot. Okay, you forgot. Okay, you just forgot you had it. But no, she had it the entire time. But not everybody just want anybody using a deodorant. I'm a clean person, but you don't know for sure if somebody just 100% clean. And yeah, I don't blame her. I really don't. Anyways, that was one time I had to ask somebody if they had something. Because I usually came in, I, I usually had everything I needed, but one day... It didn't matter. Like, I had the pads in my backpack, but it didn't matter. By the time I realized I was on my menstrual cycle, I had already bled through. 
And so I had this friend, she skipped class for me. And she literally guarded me in the hallway until my mom got there. She guarded me all the way to the back, uh, to the office by the time my mom got there. And then my mom, you know, guarded me all the way to the car. That girl, oh my gosh, she is a G. She hit me up a couple months ago. I will always love her. Oh my gosh, when I tell y'all, I don't know what I would have done in school if it wasn't for her. Liners. If you are a tampon and liner girl, girl, bring a good amount of liners. Here I am at one, two, three, four, five liners. You can bring about six liners. It's a good number. Six or seven is always a good number. So now we have pads, tampons, and liners. You never know who might need a liner as well. You just never know. I'm all about helping people and making sure everybody's comfortable and making sure people are comfortable to come to me as well. Um, just in case, I would always just bring some extra underwear. So I would definitely pack at least two pair of extra underwear. So I'm going to pack away two pair of underwear, you know, might as well. Like I said, bring some extra sweats just in case as well, because if anything ever were to happen, you would rather be safe than sorry. So we got pads, tampons, liners, and extra underwear. Okay. As far, oh, here are the tampons right here that I packed away. I packed them away in the bag. Perfect. As far as cramps and things like that, these, for me, they work very well. But if you know what works best for you, whether it's ibuprofen, Tylenol, whatever works best for you, pack it. Get a little bitty bottle and pack it. These are super, um, these are super convenient only because these are actually for your menstrual cycle. And they help with cramps, they help with bloating, they help with fatigue, headache, and back aches. I will say these take a little minute to kick in. So like as soon as you start to feel any kind of pain, pop one. And if your friend needed something, you could just pass her one. They come in these super cute little packets. Some kind of medication for cramps. I didn't have bad cramps in school like that, but now here and there I do get cramps and I always take these Midols. So pack away these super cute little Midols. I get these at Target, you guys. So far, everything I've showed you guys, I can get at Target, except for I did get these at Dollar General, but you can get any kind of tampons at Target, Walmart, whatever the heck, but um, I just know that these little My Dolls, these like little packets, I got these at Target. Now let's go ahead and get into hygiene. We know on our menstrual cycles, we do smell a little different. And also at that age, like when you're in high school and middle school, your hormones are different. So let me tell y'all something. Your hormones are different right now. I'm telling you, as you get older, that as you get older, that odor, it just, it really doesn't stay the same. It really, like, decreases. Unless I'm stressing, I don't really have odor like that. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm, like, not hydrated, then I don't really have odor like that. But when I was in, like, middle school and high school and I was around, like, those more teenage years, like the younger teenage years, my hormones were different. And so my smell was different. But either way, on our menstrual cycles, we do smell a little bit different. So let's talk about hygiene. This is my trick, you guys. This is my trick right now when it comes down to keeping my pad fresh because your pad really can hold odor. So before you go to school, I would apply some Lumi downstairs. I would get the deodorant stick. This is the smooth, solid deodorant stick. This is the soft powder. I would open it up. I would run my finger across it, make it into a cream, put it downstairs in between the actual like vaginal lips, never the hole, never in between the vaginal lips. Um, if you have some pubic hair, I would apply it on the pubic hair real fast because the, that can hold odor. And then before you go to school, if you have your panty liner or your pad, put this across your pad a couple of times or your liner a couple of times because your, your panty liner and your pad can hold odor. So I would put that across your pad a couple of times. Now, each and every time you go to change your panty liner or your pad, or honestly, each and every time you go to the bathroom, wash your hands. I'm that type especially if I'm in public, I don't know what I'm touching. Wash your hands before you ever go to the bathroom to wipe yourself or go to change your pad, anything, because there's germs all over your hands. That can really cause irritation. Wash your hands. So go in, wash your hands, and then go into the bathroom stall to get all this done. When you go to change your pad, what I suggest doing, if you cannot afford this, just wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, and put it in those little bins. Um, sometimes those bins are full, and not everybody is comfortable just putting their pads, you know, away in, in those buckets. I know some people are a little bit weird about it. Sometimes I'm a little bit weird about it. Dog bags. So once you take your pad off, roll it up, roll it in some tissue a good amount of times. If you want to go ahead and drop it in that bin, drop it in that bin. But if not... I would get these little doggy bags. These little doggy bags are so freaking dope. So get some doggy bags. These are long. Okay, these are different. Mm. I will get a doggy bag. Let me get a patch so I can just show you guys. My camera's going to die, so we're going to change angles in a minute because I know I'm going to have to change my angle. 
Okay, take it off. Who cares about noise? We're all girls. And if somebody got to say, if somebody got something to say, ah, you're clearly weird. Wrap it up. I would wrap it up and whatever tissue you have, wrap it up a good amount of time with that tissue. I wrap it like this and then this way. So I wrap it both ways. Put it in there or drop it in a bag. Twirl it. You can tie it if you want or wrap it around and you can wait till you get home to dispose of it or put it in there. Put it in the... Um, box things i'm giving options because i know everybody is different these also control odor because they're dog bags and you know they have to hold dog fecal matter so yeah i would just bring some of these doggy bags just in case just in case because you never know and you never know when like a bathroom may not have a box i've yeah surprisingly i've been in public areas where they did not have a box and i have had to use doggy bags and then put it away when i was at um when i first went to jordan's house the first couple of times i was on my menstrual cycle and at the time i wasn't using doggy bags i forgot what little bags i had i had like little bags and i put it in the bag and i wrap it up and i'd put it back into my um my purse but i would run the water the entire time so we didn't have to hear it so yeah i don't know i just i would just pack a roll of doggy bags it will come in handy i'm gonna change the angle because i know my camera's gonna die soon and i don't want to like be into talking and then it just dies i also only have one more battery left this is my last battery and i cannot charge my batteries because i have no electricity so it's looking like we're gonna have to end up end off this video real soon after this period kit um what am i talking about so yeah when you go ahead and you dispose of your pad you get a fresh one Okay, open up a fresh one. I don't like to waste it, so I'm just gonna use this this one I just put in here. Yes, we's not wasting. I'm gonna throw this one away though, of course. When you go to get the new one out of the package and you put it down on your um, your underwear, get your Lomi and put a fresh coat on your pad. Put a fresh coat. If you don't want to use Lomi which Lumi is the way better option because it really does prevent odors and you're not going to have any odor downstairs if you don't want to use that. I also like this. This is on my Amazon storefront. I've only been able to find it on Amazon. I know you guys are going to want to reach for the Lumi though because this is a little bit um, more difficult to get because it is like you have to order it instead of going into stores. Like you can go into Target and get a, a stick of um, Lumi. Um, if you want to, I also like this. I would pack both of them just in case like just if you want to i also like to just put this on a wipe and just fresh up my underarms fresh up my downstairs area that's another thing that i like about this is that you can just put it on like an unscented wipe and you can wipe yourself up and get freshened up i love this stuff this is on my amazon storefront this is the elevated body care lavender muffin mist like i said it's on my amazon storefront love 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 this stuff so not only could you use it on your pad to also prevent odor but you can also freshen up with it like put it on a wipe like a baby wipe unscented baby wipe and freshen up i've tried the rose vanilla the rose gold vanilla i'm not sure i don't like the smell of it and i have not tried the i have not tried the ylang ylang um i love the lavender it's something about lavender and odor lavender and odor are perfect because lavender really does mask and get rid of odor i love that so i would have two i would have both of them um, it's really nice to just have a bunch of different options, especially if you want to like freshen up after gym class, you can get like a wipe. And the cool thing about Lumi deodorant is that it's not like tacky because it's aluminum free. It wipes right off. So you can get some of that spray, put it on a wipe, wipe it up. Or I forgot about this. Hold on. Lumi has wipes. So you could just use Lumi wipes to freshen up, but we're not even at the wipes yet. We're not even at the wipes yet. I always put my pad down before I even start to freshen up. So like I said, spray that on your pad or wipe that on your pad to make sure that your pad's not holding any odor. After I do that, I like to freshen up. You can use whatever wipes you like. It's The cheaper way to go is to get a Ziploc baggie and put baby wipes. You can get baby wipes at Dollar Tree. Zip it up and put it in your bag, okay? You can use Lumi acidified wipes. This is a tiny little packet. You can put that in there. Or, I don't know about this scent. I just grabbed these as an example because I'm going to go ahead and put up on my Amazon storefront a box of these exact ones, except for they are unscented. Um, so I'll put that on my Amazon storefront, you guys. Summer's Eve has always had these little towelettes, these tiny little towelettes. If you are not sensitive to the fragrance, you can get whatever scent you want. The safe way to go is to buy the unscented, um, individually packaged towelettes. I would get like four of those. You can also use these on your underarms if you want to. You can use these absolutely anywhere. Um, they are designed for your downstairs area. But let me tell y'all something. 
You can use them on your underarms. You can use them everywhere. That's why they're so freaking convenient. So if you want to get the fragrance one for your underarms and then unscented for your nauseous area, you, you can. Like I said, I'm going to put the box of these exact ones, but unscented. They didn't have them in stores. They only had this. I'll put that on my Amazon storefront because they have those on Amazon and I will be ordering a couple boxes of those. So here's five of them. Get some wipes. Put those in there. Once I put my fresh pad down, I get a wipe. You can rip it. Take the wipe. Wipe yourself up down there. Wipe yourself up, wipe yourself up, wipe yourself up. Now, after you get done wiping up, you're going to be wet downstairs, blah, blah, blah. You're going to have to go ahead and dry up. You can bring paper towel if you would like, or you can wipe up with the tissue. It is up to you. You can blow, but it might be a little bit too loud and embarrassing. So um, you can dry up however you like. I personally just like to stay pretty dry down there because the more moisture, the more odor. So you can pack paper towel in a, like a little Ziploc baggie, or you can dry up with the tissue. Dry yourself up. All right. Now your pad is fresh. Now you're fresh downstairs. You can just pull up your pants and you can go. Now let's say you forgot to put something on your pad or you're just having some odor downstairs and you can smell it in the stall. This is your trick. When you flush, you know that loud flushing noise, get a concentrated room spray. You can get the Yankee ones at Walmart. You don't, have, you don't just have to get the Bath & Body Works one. The cool thing with concentrated room spray is it doesn't have to go shh, it's just a shh. So once you flush that toilet, that loud noise is going to cover up the ch. Flush the toilet and ch. And put it right back in your bag. So nobody has a smell, you know, any smell or any odor that may have came from you. And you can spray it near the toilet area, like down at the toilet area, so that it's getting that odor, okay? And that would be my complete bag. My school never let us have like candy and stuff like that, but if your school lets you have like chocolates and stuff like that, girl, you can pack that, you can customize your bag. This is just the basics, having your wipes, having your hygiene products, having your pads, your tampons, your liners, your undies. I would pack an extra pair of sweats in your backpack, put them in your locker, blah, blah, blah. But girl, this is that bad with that being said i hope i didn't forget anything but if you feel like i forgot something go ahead and comment that down below help some sisters out y'all can go ahead and converse down there and talk to each other be nice to each other help each other out you know we're all sisters in the body of christ that's what i would pack in my school bag if i was you okay or if i had to go to school right now girl i pack a little lotion i pack a little body spray you already had that Lumi deodorant if you need it. I pack a little deodorant, you know. But girl, if I would have had the tips that I am giving you guys now, if I would have had those back in my school days, girl, I'd have been scraped, okay? But yeah, girl, I'm going to go ahead and head up out of here. This is my last battery, like I told you guys. I don't want it to get dark, and I also can't even charge my battery even if I wanted to. Um, I love every single one of you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um... Yeah, I don't know what else I'm trying to say, but yeah, I'm going to go lay my banging head down because this is really annoying me super bad. So I love you guys. God bless you all in Jesus name. And it's not be a girl. Let's go.